This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. And we are seeing cattle markets kind of chop around as we look forward to this afternoon's cattle on feed report. Looking at some of the other fundamentals playing a role. We've had pretty decent exports here recently. Cash rate a little bit higher this week. We know that the recent weather throughout the Midwest have affected some things. And I think put a premium in prices. We saw some uh, cash cattle trade 130 in Nebraska and I believe uh, 126. Um, down in the south so prices are a little bit firmer from the previous week and i think the futures board has kind of reflected that now with that said once we get through this cattle on feed report maybe chew through some of the weather concerns i wouldn't be surprised to see some of this premium come back out of that market now looking at the technicals the june live cattle 123 is really a pivot point for us a breakout above here opens the door for a retest of the recent highs at 124.90 but with that said we've got a little bit of a bearish tilt on this market if we cannot stabilize above 123 i think the bears have an opportunity to go retest 120 and possibly below looking at the commitment of traders report we know that the funds have a pretty decent size net long position so if we can't get any momentum to start next week's trade there's a potential risk of long liquidation here in the very near term now wrapping things up with the lean hog market we had great exports again this morning china stepping in as a big buyer not as big as the previous week but still nice to see them come back and i think this is going to continue to be an ongoing trend but remember volatility is going to remain high volatility oftentimes feeds on itself and this is certainly one of those markets where we've seen that play out if you want to be long this market be prepared to take some heat against you. We're looking out to uh, a little bit out, uh, further out contracts. February 2020 is actually something we're keeping a very close eye on too, and we recommend that you put that on your radar as well. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. It's been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.